today is almost a 100 mile day. The Sleeping Bear Dunes to these dunes here, it has been dunes, dunes, dunes. We are coming in to Ludington Harbor. One thing that I guess I personally did not expect when cruising down Lake Michigan was how beautiful the state of Michigan is. Hi, we're Jen, Elliot, and Ollie. In 2019, we left the United States and backpacked through 11 countries, all before deciding to come back home and try something completely new, pivoting into boat life. Our current adventure is America's Great Loop, a 6,000 mile journey through small towns, big cities, and the wilderness from the eastern portion of the United States, through the Great Lakes and Canada, and down the Midwest rivers all aboard our home on the water, Pivot. Make sure you subscribe as we share our journey through the highs, lows, and everything in between. Good morning. Good morning. It is so beautiful out here this morning. The fog's coming in, the sun's yeah. coming up. We are in Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore at South Manitou Island, and we are making miles today. <laughs> we have very, very light winds, and uh, unfortunately our day didn't really get started off the best way. We ran out of propane, <laughs> so we made coffee from my ends to fall this morning. That's why it's There's a first for everything. <laughs> That's why it's important to have a backup method for doing stuff for exactly. everything. I could just sit here and watch the sunrise, like for you know, till it comes up. I was gonna say yeah. for hours, but <laughs> it doesn't last for hours. Um, it's but we gorgeous gotta go. though. Yeah, it's time to go. We're gonna have a beautiful cruise this morning, cruising down the eastern shore of Lake Michigan. Now the only bad thing about this anchorage is that we couldn't take Ollie to shore. Dogs were not allowed on the National Lake Shore. So Ollie's gonna be doing her bathroom on the boat, just like the old days. What a beautiful sunrise, wow. It's one of the best in a long time.
just off to my port side is the mainland of Sleeping Bear Dunes National Lakeshore. And this national lakeshore is where the majority of the park is, not the, just the two islands. And on the mainland, they have these massive dunes, much greater than any of the dunes that are on the two islands. And these dunes, you, there are multiple hikes that are available, and so you can hike up and down these dunes, which I will preface is a very difficult hike from what, what, what we understand, um, because you're walking through sand um, up these dunes, and it is quite an elevation gain too. We hope to come back one day and climb these dunes because they are so beautiful and they have such an incredible view out onto Lake Michigan. Today is almost a 100 mile day. I think it's like 70 nautical miles or something like that. And uh, we're about five hours, four and a half in, hours into it. We're gonna get a stretch break. Days like today, I'm so happy I fixed the autopilot because we can just set our course and... No. No. I'm happy you fixed the autopilot too. Thanks. Ollie! Go do your business. Nice. For lunch today, we are having some of the goodies that we got yesterday while we were visiting Leland, the fish town. Yesterday we bought some sage derby cheese, which is this like an herb um, kind of cheddar cheese. And then we got two kinds, half a pound each of smoked fish um, to try it out, give it a go. And we got the smoked trout and the smoked white fish. Also got a bat, like a, a round of crackers. And then we also bought some cheese curds, which we snacked on yesterday and they were delicious. So this is our little like lunchtime spread. Mm. So I just tried the sage derby cheese and it is phenomenal. If you like this, the flavor of sage, which I love, and I feel that it's also a very fall warming comfort kind of flavor, um, this cheese is super delicious because you can really taste that like that sage flavor. It is so good. Mm. Super creamy. Mm. Here I have the smoked lake trout. Mm. That is so good. The fish just crumbles right apart. You can really taste the smoked flavor. It's super good. And the last one is the white fish. The white fish is definitely a very white fish. Absolutely delicious. The white fish is the least fishy. It's a little bit drier than the smoked trout. It just crumbles apart right in your mouth. If you missed the vlog yesterday, these cheeses are local to the area, and specifically these fish were caught in these waters. We went to Fishtown and Leland before our anchorage last night and kind of just walked around and had to get some locally caught smoked fish. We're getting a little bit of uh, BMCs today, um, just before we kind of turn on into the middle of Lake Michigan, which is like Ludington area. We passed Frankfurt, just off to our port side is Manistee, actually like right there, and we actually just passed passing it. We don't, I'm not really sure where these like waves are from. They're like, what would you say? They're like one to two footers. No, they're not. But they're really a long period. They're really a long period. Yeah. So like, I don't know, maybe it's just like Ugh. I'm getting a little sick. I'm trying to take a little bit of a nap. Oh my goodness, what a long day. 
So we just gotta push through. 20 more miles today. Three hours. It would be a 10 hour cruise. Long one. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. Right now to our port side, we are passing Ludington State Park and it is beautiful. It has lots of dunes and from the map it shows that it goes pretty far in um, further inland. Now these dunes are not nearly as high as Sleeping Bear Dunes that we passed earlier this morning, but they are beautiful. And that has been a majority of the landscape that we have been cruising by all throughout the day. From Sleeping Bear Dunes to these dunes here, it has been dunes, dunes, dunes which has been really cool because it's something that we haven't really seen a lot of on the Great Loop. So we're really enjoying this scenery. We have about six miles left until we get to Ludington, which is our final destination for tonight. We had thought maybe we could go a little bit further, but we are both exhausted and we are getting swell on the beam. So it is not, it's not horrible. It's not um, miserable by any means. We have been through worse but it is just not the most enjoyable. We might just end our cruise up here. One thing that I guess I personally did not expect when cruising down Lake Michigan was how beautiful the state of Michigan is. Now, <laughs> this may be kind of silly from someone who's from Michigan and knows about, and knows the, the all the natural beauty that's present in Michigan, but I did not have this expectation. I am completely blown away by its beauty over the past few days. I mean, the water on Lake Michigan is stunning. The dunes are stunning. The people are friendly. The towns are charming. They're cute. They're, they have so much flavor to them. They are not vanilla by any means. And I've really, really been enjoying myself so far. Highly, highly recommend the state of Michigan. Try not to hold me down, feel the Drive a faster car, nothing can break me, no, nothing can break me. Try not to hold me down, feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at the beautiful stars, I wanna take a trip to Mars, nothing can break me. As there's so many miles today, we are coming in to Ludington Harbor and um, we're about to turn the corner. We don't really know where we're gonna stay the night tonight because we were planning on either going to the Municipal Marina or anchoring. But we're gonna call the Municipal Marina to see what their current rate is. We've heard that the marinas in Michigan lower their rates after Labor Day. So we're gonna call and find out, but we've spent so much money in September so far, like over $1,000 in the first week. Um, if you're not looking at our expense reports and you're interested in seeing how much the Great Loop is costing us, go to our website, the link in the comments, and see what our loop has costed us for our first six months. We're going to play it by ear and either anchor and then pay for the day dock fee or dock at the marina.
we had decided to save the 50 bucks and anchor. And um, just take our dinghy in. Kind of like yesterday's anchorage. This is not the most comfortable for us because it's so deep here. It's like 30 feet deep, which means for any reasonable amount of scope, you need to be above 100 feet of chain. Um, and we have 150 feet up or pivot. So it's like we can only anchor in light scopes. So right now we just dropped 100, which is basically like three to one. Um, and then we're gonna lay, lay out the bridle, which will give us another 15 feet. So it's gonna be a little bit higher than three to one, which is like super, super minimal. Like I wouldn't have this in a storm. Fortunately, the winds are very light tonight and I'm not worried about dragging. However, it's not ideal. We do always set our anchor very, very hard on pivot and we have a storm rated anchor, so that does bode really well for us having a solid anchor and all chain. Is it GPS at zero? Yeah. Once we back down on our anchor, we're always looking out to the side of pivot and keeping an eye on our GPS because once we have zero knots on our GPS and it doesn't look like we're moving, we're pretty confident that the anchor is set because otherwise you'd still be swinging. You'll see that little, you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, half a knot of speed, where you'll see your surroundings move. So we kind of do all that at once. And then for us, we put our bridle on at the very, very end of everything um, because it's just basically an added benefit for a good night's sleep. And while we set our anchor, I should say this too, we do tie off our anchor chain so we don't pull on our windlass, which is important for Making sure you win this lasts a long time. Ready for the bridle? Yeah. about an hour before sunset, so we're gonna head to the marina and check out Ludington. Well, we tried to go to the uh, dock house and pay for our dockage, but nobody was there. So we just docked in a corner. Hopefully we're not blocking anybody. It's wide open. And uh, let's go check out some ice cream. To my right, I can see the downtown like Main Street area, which from afar, it looks really cute, but we are on a mission to get some ice cream and we are going to a spot that was recommended to us. It had a ton of reviews online, so we're going to try it. But unfortunately, we have a very tight timeline tonight, so we are very go, go, go. So we do not have time to walk and explore 
downtown Main Street, unfortunately. So it just means that we'll have to come back another time. I love adulting oh. ice cream before dinner. So we got two single scoop cones. I got the Blue Moon, which they said it was their signature flavor. And... Mm. Tastes really good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a minty kind of like bubblegum flavor, I guess, if I could describe it like that. And I got the peanut butter. Either brownie, chocolate, peanut butter fudge, peanut butter something. Mmm. Is that what it's literally called? Like all of those things? No, it's peanut butter fill in the blank with something chocolate related. Mm. And I got the junior size. Mmm. This is like super size. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mmm. 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 My god. Okay. The chunks in my ice cream. Mmm. They are good. Wanna try some? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> you did to me. What do you think? Good. I like, like yours a lot, yeah. Alright, now let's go finish these ice cream cones on our walk to sunset. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. That sunset was, was beautiful. Amazing. <laughs> I say the sunset. You know, when you compare the eastern shore of Michigan and the western shore of Michigan, it's sometimes it comes down to sunsets or sunrises. Would you rather watch the sunrise? If so, go to the western. If you'd rather watch the sunset, stay on the eastern. It's really not as simple as that, but <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot more factors. Yeah, there's a lot more. But to this it. sunset was incredible. Yeah. Now let's head back to Pivot. The SS Badger, which is this large ferry boat behind us, goes from the east side of Michigan, from Ludington to Manitowoc, Wisconsin, and it is a ferry boat that transports cars as well as passengers. So we've heard from our other Looper friends that while they were stuck in Ludington waiting out weather, they took the SS Badger over to Manitowoc for like two days to kind of break up their time here and so that's one of the attractions here in Ludington is the SS Badger which is a coal-fired steamer and I think kind of the last last of its kind okay coming in hot whoa stay on the boat Spiders. Oh my gosh. Waiting for their deaths. And they're having babies too. They're all over. Yikes. That was one of our longest days on the water. And guess what folks? Tomorrow, yet another. We are just really just trying to maximize our good weather days here in Lake Michigan after Labor Day. And there's a poor weather system coming in soon. Friday, which is two days from now, there's going to be like eight foot waves on Lake Michigan, lower and upper. So it's not a cruising day. And then it's going to take a few days for winds to subside and, and have it be another good cruising day. So tomorrow, Thursday, is our last cruising day until what's looking like Tuesday could be Wednesday. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get into lower Lake Michigan. We stayed in Upper Lake Michigan for a long time. We kind of left Mackinac City 
and I've been making a lot of miles the past two days. Going to Charlevoix, going to South Manitou Island, and then now here in Ludington. And tomorrow should be our last really long day for a good portion. Um, we do still have a couple more long days in Lake Michigan. It's a huge body of water. Um, but time will tell what we're going to do there. Our other plans sort of off in the nebulous distance is that we're going to be at the AGLCA Fall Rendezvous. Now this video will come out way after that, but that date is like mid-October. So it's like a little bit over a month from now. And from what happened to us in Ocracoke, where we had like insanely bad weather, we went and we shouldn't have not gone. And it was just a really rough day on the water. We're trying to make sure that we're not letting the schedule of the rendezvous impact us. And there's a lot of anxiety about Lake Michigan for good reason. Last week there was 12 footers, this week there's eight footers and pivot just very uncomfortable in anything over like two feet and over depending on the direction so all those things are in our thought process and what you know the other thing is that there's so much to lake michigan that we like you literally have to come back there's so many small towns the michigan side the wisconsin side that we would love to visit there just isn't enough time for us in this loop in particular. <laughs> I have to second that. What we came down to is that if we wanted to do Lake Michigan the right way, we needed to come back and do a full season here because that's yeah. the only way to do it. In fact, yesterday we met two loopers in Leland that were leaving their boat in the side of Michigan for the season to come back next year. So that is always an option if you have the time. But for us, yeah, we, we live aboard full time. Yeah. That's we can't just live on the hard in Michigan yeah. in the winter. That ain't gonna happen. Oh. But that does mean that we'll have to come back. How it comes back by boat, by land, we don't know. But we're coming back to Michigan because we love it. It's amazing. So with that, it's the end of today's video. Tomorrow we are leaving pretty early, maybe like 4 a.m. That's what I'm kind of planning right now. Get on the water and then wake up as we're leaving. Anyway, Thank you for, for watching, watching, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, those are kind of our options. So do you have time to cook dinner before we go? What time? How long is it going to take to cook dinner? I mean, I just said at least 30 minutes, at least. Yeah, so Should I just say that I love how, you, like, I'm used to this by now, but like, I ask you a question and then two minutes later you answer. Because you've got so much other stuff going on in your brain, I guess. So, like that's the best thing that I've come up with. That's how I'm calculating out the answer to your question. It makes time. Right next door. Can you tell what the name of the place was? Mm, no. Oh, that's not ground. Girl.